Seven and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to discuss the Mystic Expanse, the newly announced ship in Star Citizen, and why I think you should not buy it, at least for now. First off, let's cover the Mystic Expanse for anyone who hasn't seen it already. There may be some of you out there. Introducing the Mystic Expanse, the single crew vessel at the heart of both large and small scale refining operations across the Empire. The Expanse's self contained refinery system makes it the industry standard for accessible vehicular-based mineral processing, specifically designed to operate in tandem with mining vehicles like the MISC Prospector, the Expanse enhances any serious mining operations by transforming raw mineral pods into saleable material on the fly. The official line on the website is Refine Your Prospects, and I think that's actually a really cool line, actually, I like it. And it looks very industrial, that's for sure. I'm more of an Argo guy. I don't know. It might be the orange. I don't know. I just prefer Argo stuff. And if they had an Argo one-seater minor, I would have been all over that, like white on rice. Trust me. I would have got that instead of the Prospector. But I just wasn't willing to pay the price of the mole, despite loving that ship overall. However, the Expanse does have something about it, if I'm being completely honest. I can't quite put my finger on it, but it's not beautiful, and it's not ugly. I suppose it's just... Quirky. On paper, the Misk Expanse is basically a miner's best friend. It's your very own personal refiner that you can use for yourself and sell your refining services to friends and other players, as well as buy raw ore from players and just trade it at a profit. I see that ship being an integral asset to any organization in the game that intends to mine a lot or around the clock. So it sounds perfect, right? Well, yeah. But there are a couple of issues here that I want to discuss. Firstly, CIG have not announced or even hinted at what this gameplay loop might look like. At least in their heads, they have an idea, but they've not told us. We don't know how long the refining will take. I mean, in a station, this could be hours to days, with days obviously being better for financial growth if you're willing to wait. What happens when the player is offline? Does the expanse keep working offline? Or does the account need to stay on for it to keep refining? How do we get the ore from our ships, like the ship that you own, to the Expanse. So if I'm out in my Prospector, how do I get that into the Expanse? Is that even possible? And for me, more importantly, they've not said what it can, and probably even more importantly, what it cannot refine. If I'm buying this ship, either with in-game money, or more in line with this video, real-world money, I want assurances that thing can refine Quantanium. Another reason not to buy it for now is it's not even flyable yet. I mean, I love this game, as do most people that play it. But I'm not about to throw you 150 notes based off a JPEG, mate. Not a chance in a blue cat's hell am I doing that. And I'm more than aware that for CIG, 150 notes is actually considered, air quotes, cheap. But look at what they did with the 400i. They sold a lot of them for 250 notes. I mean, of course they did. The thing looks as good as me in the buff. Why would people not buy it? But then they nerfed it right after release and removed the ability to even carry a rock leaving it to be nothing more than the game's equivalent of a trophy wife. They change it, or you realise that this doesn't do what you want it to? Well, no, you're just royally screwed, aren't you? Especially if you're out of the 30-day refund policy. They also did this with the Ares Ion, and nerfed his weapon after selling a load of them, leaving players annoyed at that. Don't take this the wrong way, this is not me bashing CIG or Star Citizen, nothing like that. I'm just stating facts here. I'm also not judging anyone who's already bought The Expanse, as always, your money, your business, not mine. But the fact remains that none of this has been addressed yet. And to me, that's why you shouldn't be buying a Miss Expense, at least yet. There is a Q&A coming, which personally, if it were me in charge, <laughs> that would have been out at the same time as the ship went up for sale. I know, I know, I'm talking sense, I should stop. But hopefully, in the Q&A, they answer all these questions and more. And then maybe after that, and we have what we need answer-wise, then we can decide one way or the other. But for me, I'm just going to wait until I know more. I mean, I have the Misk Razor referral ship, which means the expanse would actually only cost me $5. Even my wife said, well, for that price, why wouldn't you? But I still want answers before deciding whether to buy it or not. As a miner, if it can do what I need it to do, 
then $5 is absolutely worth it. But what about you? Have you bought The Expanse already? Do you intend to get one? Or are you waiting for more answers like me? Let me know in the comments below. I'll do another video on The Expanse after the Q&A drops as well so we can kind of do a comparison. So as always, you fine, fine people. I have been Just Dave, reminding you all to be good. And if you can't be good, be dangerous.